Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of the minor updates they did in uh, the Premiere Pro 2018 update to version 12.1. Those changes uh, take place in the elementary color panel. If you go up to color and click on this and arrange your screen space for color, uh, it'll bring up the elementary scopes and bring up the elementary panel over here. Uh, those changes, pretty much everything in a lot of these panels here are very similar, very, very much the same as they were before. And where the much needed changes have taken place is found under uh, color wheels. You'll notice they've added and match here. Under color wheels, they've got color wheels and match. I'm going to click on that hold on this menu and show you uh, the changes here. You've still got the same color wheels under here with the tone sliders and the hue wheels over here, but now you'll notice this color match right here and this comparison view with the face detection and this apply match over here. The comparison view is one of the more helpful items they've added here. If you hit comparison view, what it does is it brings up a side-by-side -side screen. This is very helpful to kind of get the side-by-side -side before you had to kind of go under the window and you do the reference monitor, Which, uh, but now they've got this reference locked in right side-by-side -side, so you can actually do color matches uh, with the clip side by side. This is a very uh, needed update that they've done here. And down here at the bottom, you'll see these three icons. You've got your side by side, your vertical split, and your horizontal split. If you uh, right now it's on side by side by default. If you click vertical split, it puts it in a bigger frame and shows this little split down the middle, so you can really see a bigger image in these things compared to each other. You can actually move your mouse over this and drag it back and forth if you want to see just a portion of the image. And you can also go over here and swap sides. If you have a face on this side that you're trying to match, you can hit swap sides and it switches these frames. Now this is the current one you're working on, and this is the reference one that you're seeing next to it. Then you also have your horizontal split. Here, you click on that and it's very similar. So this is very similar to what they do in Resolve where you have these comparisons, which is very helpful. And of course, if you hit your swap sides, it'll swap uh, the, the top or the bottom there. And you'll notice these names here where you've got current and reference. Uh, the current is one that you're currently grading. So if I go over to my color, color panel and start making changes here, you're going to notice it's going to be changing the color on my current one. That's the one that I'm actually grading there. And then you're comparing it to the reference. I'm going to double click on this and undo that. And I'm going to put this back to side by side. And this little icon down here is going to prove to be a little bit useful as well. What this does, is when it says shot or frame comparison, basically when you click on this, it takes a picture of your current frame that you're working on here. So if I click this right now, it just took a picture of this frame here and put a, put a still of that here. So now when I start grading, I've got a picture of what it looked like before I started grading over here. Uh, so if I do that again, if I turn this off here and click again, now it takes a picture of this current frame. So now if I want to do some comparisons here, and I want to turn this, let's say, to a warmer color like that, and then I compare the kind of cool color, I know I'm going pretty extreme here, or the warmer colors, then I can compare them side by side. Now if I want, once you click this again, it's going to get rid of that picture. It's just a quick temporary thing, so you can do comparisons between grades on the exact same frame. So I'm going to turn that off, and uh, one thing that they've added down here is this little item. You don't have to go into the color panel to actually access this comparison view. You've got that little icon added down here. So if you click that, it turns off uh, your comparison view, and at any time you're doing grading as you move in between shots, you can click on that again, and it brings it right back up. If you want to get rid of that or change things here, you can hit the little uh, plus button here, your button editor, and it brings it up. If you want to add your proxies or other things to this uh, toolbar, you can. But there's a comparison view right there, and you can remove it if you need to. But I like it there for quick access and quick grading and quick comparisons. Now the second little feature they've added here to this panel is this face detection right here. They say that this face detection is powered by what they call Adobe Sensei, uh, which is basically an extensible AI and machine learning framework uh, from uh, from the Adobe Cloud company that is supposed to be able to do face detection, therefore match skin tones and hues from shot to shot. So if you have this check marked, it's really helpful when you're trying to match two shots. I've got a couple different shots here we're going to look at. First of all, I'm going to turn that off. And there's this shot that I've already kind of pulled a little bit of a grade on. Keep in mind that when it does the color matching, it only does it within the color wheels. It won't do it within your basic correction and curves. Uh, so if you're going to try to match skin tones, you might try to pull those in a base grade. You might try to do your base grade inside of the color wheels and match section using your tone sliders and your hue wheels. So this shot I've already done a little bit of a, a base grade on, and I've got it warmed up and down a little bit of contrast to it. As I move to the next shot, these two shots obviously don't match. I'm going to pull that up and demonstrate that in the comparison view here. I'm going to pull this one along here. You can use these little, you can use these arrows back and forth to land on uh, different edits. So if I hit arrow to the right, it'll jump through the edits until I get it to the shot that I want. And I'm going to position it right there. So now I'm going to move over here and I'm going to click apply match. It's going to read the, ref the, the shot in the reference monitor and try to match that tone and color of the general shot and also of the, the skin tone to this shot here. Hit apply match. It analyzes, 
and a few seconds later you see that the tone looks very very similar. The color temperature and the skin tones seem to match pretty well. And you'll notice down here as we move down you'll see that the color wheels have been affected in the mint tones and in the highlights and you see that my uh, that uh, not just the hue has been matched but the highlight but it also tries to match brightness levels and contrast. You'll see that my highlights has been moved up, my shadows have been moved down, and my mid tones have been moved up a little bit. So it does a pretty good job. It looks like the contrast is a little bit off so I could actually just increase the contrast a little bit or just go and do it on my basic correction now. So this gives you a good starting point uh, to matching your shots. If you're trying to match other shots that aren't necessarily faces, you can do the same thing. You can simply uncheck face detection here. So I've got this wider shot here. Here's the original, and obviously it is mismatched from this shot here. Uh, what the color match will do when I uncheck face detection, it will just do a general kind of hue, brightness, and contrast reading, and it will apply it to your other frame here. But I'm not doing using the face for the correction. I'm just going to hit apply match. It analyzes. And it did an okay job, but it didn't get, it, but it didn't quite do it do it as well. If you have two wide shots that you're trying to match, it usually does a better job. But this gives gives us a point to start from. I can just bring down the midtones, warm this up a little bit, and I've got sh two shots that are fairly matched now. So as future updates come, I'm sure they'll be working on this and making it better and better as, as time goes by. Right now, this is a, a, the, especially the reference monitor is a really helpful addition to the Lumetri color panel and color grading altogether. If you have any questions, please post them, and thank you for watching.